I'm a professor of archaeology here at Simon Fraser University, and my research is at the interface of three different realms. The first is environmental, the second is uh, social, and the third is intellectual. And by this I mean that much of my work has dealt with the archaeology and ecology of wetlands and how people in the past have utilized those environments. In terms of the social dimensions, for almost 25 years now I've worked very closely with uh, First Nations and other indigenous peoples uh, in Canada and elsewhere in the world, uh, teaching them about archaeology as a tool that they can use to uh, better access and um, preserve their own heritage in their own terms. And then in terms of intellectual, here I'm dealing with the intangible, that is non-material aspects of cultural heritage in the sense that no objects, no artifacts have any meaning without the values that we as archaeologists or whomever put on those objects. And that also includes how people look at the environment. The environment has no meaning without the, the intangible a uh, attributes that we uh, connect to it. Well, archaeology is of great value because it's more than digging up stuff. I mean, that's part of the excitement of, of archaeology. There's no denying it. Um, of, of picking up an artifact, uh, 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 um, uh, a knife blade that is 10,000 years old, and you're the first person who's touched that since the maker left it, you know, so many thousands of years ago. And, and yet, the important point of archaeology is that it provides us with ways to answer questions, you know, so that those artifacts have no meaning without, you know, how we look at them and how we come to understand them. And this is one of the great things about archaeology, provides us with tools to look to understand different ways of life and, and, and how people live those lives in ways sometimes radically different from our own. And this is one important point here is that archaeology is one part of anthropology. And anthropology is simply the study of all things human over all time periods in every place in the world in all dimensions of people's lives. And I would recommend to, to all students to, look, to take at some point early on an Introduction to Cultural Anthropology course, because this is basically um, a course that's devoted to what does it mean to be human, and how are we humans in so many different ways in so many parts of the world. And archaeology is that dimension of anthropology that gives us that deep time span of being able to look at uh, the story of humanity over four or five, six million years, which is astounding, as well as to look at technology and settlement patterns and why did people eat this food versus that food? Um, why did they do what they did? And this is you know, why archaeology is, is so fascinating, but also so important, because it gives us that long, long, long history of, um, of humanity.